Hello and good day to you. This is Marcus coming at you from Christian Overcomers bringing you your short daily Bible lesson. This lesson was written by Pastor Ben and uh, I'm just going to be presenting it here to you in an audio version. Uh, as some of you may recognize, this has already been uh, written as well and you can find this at www.christianovercomers.com. The study today is A Nation Divided Cannot Stand. It would seem that there are now two Americas, one America that desires to follow God, be blessed, and live in freedom, while the other desires to be a godless socialist utopia. This division among our people is a recipe for disaster, for we know every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation in every city or house divided against itself shall not stand taken from Matthew 12 verse 25 many people have forgotten or have never been taught that America became great because she had a un unity of purpose the overwhelming majority of Americans worshiped the same God and read the same Bible even to the point that the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were both inspired and founded upon the Word of God you see, Americans trusted in God for freedom. They knew that governments could not grant freedom because governments throughout the history of mankind have always had the tendency of controlling their people and stripping them of their freedom. That's just a fact. It's too bad the other half of our nation seeking a socialist utopia does not understand this. You know, America is supposed to be one nation under God not a nation divided under the many gods of multiculturalism, secular humanism, socialism, green earth worship, or what have you. And it is no accident that our nation is being divided, for it is all part of a well-orchestrated plan. Our enemy knows that if he can remove God as the unifying factor, then our nation will fall. It is the old divide and conquer strategy. As it is written, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Taken from Matthew 12, verse 30. Beloved, we are left defenselessness against the enemy if we allow them to remove God and his word from our nation our communities, and our families. A house or a family that does not keep God as the head of the house is in danger of being destroyed. Just take a look around. Look at all the broken families across America. The enemy has entered in and spoiled them. Don't let him remove the strong man from your house. Too many people put their trust in a political party to save America from destruction. It's never going to happen, and our house will fall if we do not turn back to God. Unfortunately, there is not enough emphasis put on this, even by many of our conservative leaders today. Are they afraid to talk about it? I'm certainly not embarrassed or ashamed uh, to, and I will continue to do so, for I know that putting God back as the head of our house is the only way to freedom. Remember, it wasn't a political party that gave us freedom and independence. It was God. Some may say, then, will America become united again? Well, you just better prepare yourself and your family mentally and spiritually for the times ahead as the world is being prepared for the appearance of the false Messiah in his new world order, uh, written about in Mark 13. See that you do your best in keeping your family united, especially your spiritually family. For Satan is going to try and divide you every opportunity that he has and if your family ever gets caught up for arguing about nonsense throw Satan out the back door and don't let him back in I know you have to I know you don't have to put up with him remain steadfast be ready to make a stand and be a Christian overcomer thank you for joining us today